Hey everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor. Today we've got the sound system demo on the 2021 Mitsubishi Outlander and its six speaker bass audio system. This is gonna be an in-depth review. We're gonna take a look at how the infotainment system works, take a look at audio controls, speaker placements, audio adjustments, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, then get out on the road and listen to these sample tracks while we're rolling, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. If you don't care about any of that stuff at the beginning, at the beginning you just wanna to get to the music, click ahead in the video, we've got chapters to get you right to the tunes. Before we get started, let's hop out and take a look at this. This is the last year for this Outlander. It's redesigned for 2022, but this is the previous generation, and this is the plug-in hybrid version. It's actually kind of a neat little vehicle. I don't think we're gonna have time to do uh, a highway fuel economy and range test for this, but we will have a DM test drive shot by Chris Brower. So if you wanna see that, check the links in the description. And we always do this test with lossless uncompressed WAV audio files on a USB stick plugged directly into the system and high quality Roland binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. And we also do the test with the sound settings set to their factory defaults. So let's take a look at those now. Pretty rudimentary infotainment system here. I will say though, even though it is simple looking and basic, it does respond quickly. <laughs> so that's something nice and that's something that a lot of the newer systems can't quite get right. Here's our media screen, but we're gonna go over to settings and sound control. You've got your standard front, rear, left, right, fader, and balance that you can sort of move around like that. And then put it back to default. You have tone, treble, mid-range, and bass. An equalizer, rock, pop, hip-hop, country, and normal. And then other is speed compensated volume. So as you get going faster, the volume will lift itself up. So let's go through the tone settings. audio controls you have volume buttons right here not a big fan of that it doesn't look like you can slide either so you pretty much just have to tap then you do have nice volume up and down rocker on the left side of the steering wheel for track selection there's no sort of physical control here for track selection you'd have to go to media and click the, those buttons fortunately it does respond quickly or at least change screens quick so you can click on that you also have left side of the steering wheel track selection buttons there for audio input, you have your standard AM, FM, Sirius, XM, satellite radio, and then USB-A, no USB-C, Bluetooth, Android Auto, and Apple CarPlay, and that is all. What does that mean you're missing? Well, like I said, no USB Type-C, no wireless CarPlay or Android Auto, no 3.5 millimeter auxiliary jack either. Not the end of the world, but it might be nice to see at least one, one or two more of those uh, common inputs. For speaker locations, as I said, this is a pretty basic six speaker system. Start in the bottom left, you've got one, two, three, four, and then five, six in the rear seats and uh, outboard doors there. So not too much to write home about. So we are gonna have to stop the music to do Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Pause, remove our drive. And let's start off with Android Auto. I think that's probably gonna be best because that pair, phone's already paired up via Bluetooth. There we are, Android Auto coming up, looking okay. Not a very high resolution, not a very high refresh rate either. But you've got your main screen. There's settings. Let's go to Google Maps. Right there. And then YouTube Music. All right, how about Apple CarPlay? Both CarPlay and Android Auto load up really quickly, so that's nice to see. Use your CarPlay home screen apps let's go to apple music there you got that got apple Ma or sorry google maps no connection though and then settings all right let's get this stuff away get the music going again and get out on the road
certain songs I was testing this system and I was like, oh, you know, this actually isn't that bad. I'm, I'm kind of surprised. And then I listened to more complex songs like this one. I was like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, it is certainly not very good either. You just kind of, the, 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 the hard hits, nothing is tight. Things that are, sounds are sloppy. There's not that powerful bass sound. So again, simple things, if there's just a little bit, just a, kind of a high sound and a low sound and that's it gonna sound satisfying and decent especially with these little tweeters up here but once you start trying to get multiple sounds together it, it doesn't, doesn't sound very good another thing that's kind of weird look at the volume increments I'm up at 16 right now it's very quiet I get down to 10 you almost can't even hear it and that's not just for USB audio I do the same go to radio and the, the first 10 clicks are pretty much unusable to get it up loud to go all the way up about 30 and there's only 10 clicks left after that. So it's just kind of surprising. You're not even gonna have a scroller wheel. You're gonna make people click all the way. Why make the first 10 clicks pretty much unusable? This next song, we'll turn the bass all the way up and see what happens. the six speaker bass audio system here in the 2021 Outlander. <laughs> After hearing that bass test, I was tempted to drop it down to an E, but I think all things considered, this is a, a D system, but definitely a D minus. And you gotta consider you're paying $38,000 for this car. We've heard systems much, much, much better than this for that sort of money. So yeah, definitely, definitely earning its D tier. Not really much more to say about it. It's, it's sloppy. I do kind of appreciate the simplicity of some of the controls. I'd like a volume knob, but I've definitely had worse volume controls. Uh, yeah, I mean, just add some extra inputs. I'm sure the 2022 Outlander will be better, and we're actually testing that in about a month or so, so stay tuned to see that one. And we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on.